No men do they call me, my mother and my father, and all my comrades as well. Hey everybody, looks like we have quite a few people waiting for this particular session. We got an episode of Growing the Tribe. I'm just sitting here with my coffee, trying to get my myself going. We got a fairly involved, I, it's like right when I wanted to like start recording or start live streaming of course my dogs are now viewing fascinating things outside of the window and that, that must be barked at so hopefully they're going to keep relatively quiet um just so we're caught up on what's been going on i just did the um the most recent session there were some details i didn't put in that session uh, just because I thought the battle at um, Decoy uh, was a little bit more dramatic, and I'd, I'll end it there. And there were a couple things like there was a conversation between uh, the two human soldiers about what happened. There was all of the different uh, guys who popped up. And the current situation is that you guys have success, uh, or at least as far as you know, you have successfully... Uh, distracted the humans um, from, uh, or at least the ones from the military base. It's like, well, they they may think, we, you don't know, because you kind of just sent off um, punch and bag to his death, and nobody came back from that. So you're not sure whether it was successful or not. But the attempt was to make the humies think that they'd wiped out all of the greenskins Um, who we got, we got all in here. Let's, let's say hello to everyone and then we'll get, uh, we got Marcus Eng, Oswald Mosley Gaming, uh, Marvel Parzek, Eric Rayner, glad to have you here. Um, the Golden Grunt, I do not recognize the Golden Grunt, but welcome. Might be somebody with a different name. Um, so I don't, I think, I, I think I'd remember the Golden Grunt. Uh, totally not praising the infinite. Good to see you. Uh, Delta Ray. It's been a while, Delta. I don't know. It's, or maybe if you've been quiet, Delta Ray. Uh, Natalie. Nice. Natalie Six. Nice to see you. Um, GAPR or Gapur. On, uh, Miles O'Halloran. Edwin Marin Castro. Ah, uh, yes. Name Gary. Jack Maloon. All happy to have y'all returning. On our most wondrous journey into the magical land of green skin role playing. So, um, what we're going to do is let, let's just go over the rules for anyone who might be new. The rules are as follows You guys are controlling Snotius. He is the snot boss. He uh, was a born, he was spored a snotling. He killed the beat up all the other snotlings to be in charge of snotopia. Uh, he then killed a grot. He mutated uh, to be larger than the grot and to get some of the brains of the grot. Uh, and eventually he got big enough that he challenged an orc. It was a very, all of these are very hard fought battles, but he eventually did uh, defeat the orc, defeat Orcius one. Uh, and now there's Orcius two, of course. Um, Yes, do please like. So, anyways, yes. So that is the, the very, very brief history of Snotius thus far. Uh, and you guys are the ones who get to control the action. You decide what happens. You decide who does what. Um, and uh, you are basically going to democratically uh, decide different and various and sundry things. Uh, if it is close or I can't easily tell, I might add my own editorial decision. Um, and whatever basically chat decides uh, for Snottius to do will be done. Um, if democracy is not for you, you can also donate. Um, if you make a donation, you can unilaterally decide the action of a given character. Um, as long as they're under our control, you can't decide that the bad guys do something, nor can you auto hit um, I tried to make a compromise between like a, a sort of pay to win, 
But I also like want people who do pay for an action to happen, especially if it's a rolled action, um, that it has a good chance of, of going through. So if you do donate, donate you will uh, be rolling at advantage uh, for whatever action you want. I think it's a nice compromise. Um, so yeah, you can also uh, donate in order to name different characters. You can also uh, donate to uh, make certain details happen, but nothing that is going to make me have to drastically rework the plot. I don't want people donating and then suddenly it's like, I don't know if I can do that. I have stuff planned out to do something else. It's, so you can't be like, uh, Snotius is long lost grandmother shows up, even though it doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't make sense and it would mess up the plot. So please do not uh, donate and then make me do something I can't do. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get a rolling. Orcs don't have grandmothers. That's that's what you think. That's what you think. They secretly have grandmothers. That's why they're green because grandmothers. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, you guys dealt with it. You guys at least delayed an attack from uh, the forces of the military base. Uh, you've also gotten the road finished. Um, Debrain is still working on something in his, uh, in his workshop. Uh, and, but you have likely been discovered uh, by Big Town to the south. So, the basically the you're at the point of what do you what do you guys want to do now? Um, you can, but it's up to you. Okay, uh, we got we we okay. So we're we're very much deep in thought. So I think it is appropriate that we begin the session with a uh, with a pick of the nose. Snotius inserts enorm an enormous finger into his enormous nose. And picks it in order to think of what to do next. Got pretty good numbers so far. We've got 20 people. Let's go with, I'm going to, you guys can throw out suggestions of what to do now. Do you want to prepare defenses? Are you assuming an attack? Um, probably not wise to outright attack Big Town, as there are like thousands of people that live there. Pray to Gork and Mork. We needs more DACA. Build up defenses. <clears throat> Get Snotius another chain chopper. Prepare a raiding party. Uh, twice the pick, double the thought. All right. Um, so we got one saying build defenses. Um, check on the new orcs. Check on Debrain. That's not a bad idea. Um, I'm gonna pick. Uh, let's let's we can we can do more than one thing also, but let's pick one to start with. Um, let's go with um, build up. Do we want to build up defenses? Do we want to check on Debrain? Do we want to check out the new orcs? Um, whoa whoa whoa! People are donating. All right. So we got. Edward Rylands coming in hot. Agrot attempts to form a desertion faction to flee with as many as they can draw together. How does Snodius reassert order? Okay. And then the best defense is a good attack. We ready one of the are we ready we ready for one of the smaller villages to the west. Okay, I do have uh, that map. I should probably have the maps up and ready, but there is an I, I'll I'll pull that up when it is when we are actively planning and doing that. I'll show you your other options. Okay. So Snodius is currently in um, Mega Humeopolis. And let's pick a Grot who is causing trouble. Let me go through the list of Grots who are causing trouble. So we're going to... We, so the decision is we're going to attack one of the smaller villages. We're not dealing with Big Town yet. Even though they are, they are, they do know that we're there, so it's possible they might attack. 
they do have military guys there. Um, all right, let's take a look at the list of grots. Uh, we have Tree Clima. We have Dered Gabo. This is all. Uh, this is all. A uh, Dered Gabo is in Snotantinople. Um, we got Tom and Jerry. They're over in uh, Wolf Tree. We got Red Shirt Five, Blue Shirt, Wiley Coyote, um, Dexter, Dee Dee, and Mandark. Uh, Wiley Coyote, Dexter, Dee Dee, and Mandark. I no, somebody died. Mandark died. Mandark got his head cut off. Um, uh, we got Dee Dee, Dexter, Wiley Coyote. They, I believe, are at Mega Humeopolis. Um, we have Oswald, Punch and Bag 2, Gitticus, uh, Morkius, Stressball, uh, Krumpelstein's Monster, Crumpy Freeloda. Uh, let's see. We got, let's see, trying to find out other. Do, 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 double, D, double D. Um, who else we got? Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Dopey, Grumpy Doc, Snotbow, Punch and Bag. Oh, Punch and Bag's dead. We still have Steve and Two Heads. And then we have uh, Slade, Slash, and Grotbo. All right, so let's take a look. We got, we got a bunch. Um, I got to go back to how far does it go down? Um, we got a Red Gabo, Red Gabo, Red Shirt 5. You guys, the, the farmers with the trucks already came and you killed them. So the humans know that something's up. Um, yeah. Red Gabo. Red Gabo. Okay. So Red Gabo, as, as uh, Snodius is, um, let's, we'll, we'll have, uh, we haven't had Red Shirt 5 show up for a little while. He's kind of been relegated to being a blacksmith. Um, but red, we'll say red shirt five, um, as the roads open up, uh, and material starts moving up and down them much more easily and starts getting distributed. Um, one of the truck rides up is carrying, and this is like, it's like a half hour to get from one end of the empire to the other. It's not, it's not very long. Um, so, uh, red shirt five shows up and, and goes up to Snodius. And it's like, boss, boss, we got trouble. We got trouble. And Snotty's is like, what? What are you talking about? What do you mean trouble? You mean humans? Yeah, I got humans on both sides. No, trouble on the inside. Discontent amongst the proletariat, uh, whatever that is. What are you talking about? The Red Gobbo. He says that the bosses are gits and that everything should be distributed. Uh, the work done by uh, those who can do it and all of that stuff goes to the gits what need it. And I told him that was the way it worked already, but he said that wasn't part of the cause and he kicked me out. But he took a bunch of snorts uh, and, and went off on his own. Uh, do you guys want him to take along any other of the grots, or is he? Did he just grab like a group of snotlings? Did he just take a bunch of snotlings, or did he convince? Are there any other uh, of the uh, anybody else that he? Just snots? Anybody? Anybody? Oh boy, I bet I bet one of them is name is named Snotsky. Snotlin, Snotsky. Anyways. Okay, so we got we they're they're gonna all have whenever it becomes relevant, Snotlings aren't really relevant until it's time. So let's say he also took um, twenty snotlings from Snotantinople and formed, let me get a map. Give me one second. Let me grab a map so we can, so I can, uh, 
decide on the location. All right, can I get all the map in here? Let's take a look. I'm thinking maybe like kind of just like right here. If it, I think if he's trying to foment rebellion, he'd want to be kind of in the middle of things. I don't have um, a wolf tree, which is over here, but that's over there. Um, I need to update this map. This is just an older map. It's not Tantinople. I can't quite get everything in here. So what do you think? You want to go, you want to go like, I'm thinking like right there. That'd be where I would think he would go. Um, like, yeah, if he's in Snot Tantinople, I could see him trying to come over here and trying to get the other trying to influence the other ones over here. Well, this is, this is, this isn't a, this is the bug colony that got destroyed a long time ago. I guess there's not something here, but there's something over here. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll, uh, I don't have a writing utensil, but that's where it is. He's kind of in the middle of everything. All right, so how do we, what do we want to go what do we want to go do? Do you want to go deal with this or do you want to send or is this not super important for You could send some of the orcs. Um, we got orcs. We also you also have other grots that can kind of put this down. We're going to go grot grad. Grot and grad. Do you want to send Orkius too? Crush, send the orcs, crush it utterly. I don't think you need that many orcs. It's one grot and a bunch of snotlings. All right. Uh, the the current call is for um, the current call is for. Uh, Orkius two. We'll send Orkius and he'll probably take a handful of snot. He'll, he'll take some snots with him, mostly so he has a snack along the way. We got all different people. We got. Uh, I think Orkius still has the most. Uh, Orkamungus, Oswald, Noogie Boy. I still think we have a couple people saying Orkius. Currently, all of all of the uh, all of the orcs are named. I can send I can send all three of the or it's a little overkill to go because this is also orcs that are being taken away potentially from a defense. I think you have seven orcs, if I if I under if I know, because we had a couple just pop up, because we have because because I'm I'm, call, I'm counting Snottius as one of the quote unquote orcs, even though he's a mutant, he's he's effectively a, a war, he's about a he's approaching knob size at this point, but we have Orcius II, uh, Humius, Noogie Boy, Doc Dr. Crumplestein, uh, De Big Chef, and Orc Among Us. So there's six orcs, and then there's uh, Snodius. Okay, I'm saying th I think I think people are saying just one, and most people are saying, and uh, the the plurality are saying just Orcius. So I'm down for that. All right, what do we want Orcius to do? Um, he he can be armed. Um, you guys have. Um, uh, I'm going to roll for something that's secret. Okay. I was for the, for. Uh, 
Uh, Ratsif St uh, Stalin and, and Karl Snotsk. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me put them in. I'm, I got to start. I got to start a new. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to go with. Um, we're going to go with snot and grab. Um, and among the people that are there, we got the red gabo. We got Carl Snotics, Snotics, Snotskicks, and then Gratsif Stalin. So they're all there. Those, those are all. Um, hold on. Let me deal with the dogs real quick. Hold on. Give me one second, and then we'll do this thing. I just don't want the dog screaming. I'm going to bring them downstairs. They, they're calmer down here. Guys, come on. Let's go downstairs. Come on. Downstairs. Downstairs. Come on, boys. Come on. You guys can hang out with chat. Don't, don't you want to hang out with people on Discord? Or not Discord. I'm not on Discord. I'm I'm streaming. I just blocked the whole freaking thing. Okay. Um. Uh, what does Crump come from? Crump is an onomatopoeic expression that means to run into something. It's just the sound that uh, mostly trucks make when they run into things. When the orcs smash into something, it makes a crump sound. That's it. That's it. That's the only reason it's called that. All right. So uh, Orcius is going, and he's got to put down this Grot Revolution. Oh, yes, uh, my Discord. I will, I'll put that up in a second. Um, all right, you guys discuss amongst yourselves. I'm going to pull up my my Discord. I'm going to link it in chat so that people can go hang out, can come and hang out with us and, and be cool people because all of the cool people – Everyone knows that all of the coolest people in the world hang out on Discord. So if you want to be one of the coolest people, you want to hang out on No Man's Discord. We actually do have a pretty cool group of people. Uh, Zachary Weaver, uh, who is also known as Orkius, he is uh, the tippy top mod, and we have cool people that hang out there as well. Yeah, no, Manicus does use Discord. He's really cool. All right, so let's take a look and see what is going on. Yeah, if you give me that, that, that like is great. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see. Do we have suggestions? Uh, our rebellion goes away is a problem that can be somebody else's. What is Orcius going to do to solve the problem? All right, so let's. I'll set the scene. Orcius heads out. He's uh, going by truck, um, and he's gonna. He's basically like hanging on to the edge of the truck as uh, Defurious is putting pedal to the metal. Uh, his prosthetic leg is is actually like long and extended, so he can actually reach the pedals. So he has. Uh, he's looking to get the other leg removed and get two, and, and once you guys get like bionics, and then he'll have two like really long legs so he can actually reach the pedals. But Defurious is driving the truck, and Orcus is like hanging off of the side and like yelling and being enthusiastic. And, Whoa! and he kind of forgets what he was doing uh, until he sees like a small little uh, settlement. Uh, with uh, with like a a a a, a kind of simple flag with like a red star painted on it, like it's kind of like a rag that he tied onto a stick and has like a red star on it. Um, and uh, the snotlings are all kind of milling about, like they they seem kind of snotlings are basically like until you train them to be like vaguely competent at something. They're basically like babies. They don't. They kind of walk around. They fall over. They pick their nose. They 
they don't really do much. And so you have the uh, the red Gabo shouting into like um, at some point he got like a piece of paper that he's like uh, rolled up and made into like a, a bullhorn sort of thing, and he's shouting at all of them, uh, just kind of different slogans like it's like we got to rise up. We got to demand equal treatment. Do the orcs think they're better just because they're bigger? And then one of the snotlings like raises like a hand and is like, um, yes, no, no, equality no matter what size. Does that mean I'll get to be boss? No, you're smaller than me. And so, like, that's kind of the scene that that uh, Orpheus comes across. Um, Orpheus should annihilate everyone. Headbutt the Red Gabo. I haven't seen the new Angron model. I will. Eating him. Kill the red guy. Kill him. Well, let's let's before we get to our, our method, um, let's go with kill or not kill first. Let's go. Are we, are we killing him or are you gonna like uh, bonk him on the head and like get him get him back in line? Is this a good? Is this a bonk on the head and get him back in line or is this we're gonna kill him? All right. I don't think we have. Uh, we got we got two bonks, one banish. Okay, I think we're mostly I think they mostly want kill. I don't think we have very many communists in chat. Okay. Uh, is he just is he just gonna is he just like is he just gonna walk up into the group and then just hit him with a chopper? Where you headbutting him? We got it. We got a call for headbutt. <laughs> Challenge him to a children's card game, Yu-Gi-Oh style. The orcs, the orcish way of playing a, a card game would be. Just, I don't think they'd have the patience for it. Headbutt. I think we got head, headbutt. Seems to be a popular, a, a popular uh, method. All right, so. So we have we have the red Gabo and he's like he's like rallying everyone to his cause, um, and he and he's like he's like talking to all of the uh, the snotlings, uh, who who just like kind of are getting into it. Like he he hasn't been around them long enough. Probably if he had had a chance to like be in charge for like a full day, they would it would kind of become like uh, Byzantium where all of the snotlings kind of become commandos they're not very good but they you know they were okay um he would he would probably start reorganizing the society to be more a, a part of his ideal but at the moment they're not very far along so orcius is just is just gonna walk right up uh the red gabo is basically going and that's why we need to stand up behold one of the orcs one of our oppressors you should not be against us. You should join us. Don't you want to be boss? And then or Orcus is like, I'll be boss when I was the biggest. The biggest is always the boss. And you need to do what the boss says, which is me. And I need to do you what the boss says, which is snottiest on account of he's the biggest. And then all, all, and then uh, so he's just gonna walk up, and he's like, "Now, shut it!" And he's just gonna headbutt him. So let's go ahead and headbutt. Um, so that's a six. The the red gabo like leaps off of his soapbox uh, that he was standing on, and like starts scurrying away. Uh, he does pull out a grot blaster. I got some schmutz on here. He pulls out a grot blaster. And uh, and Orcius looks like he's gonna. Go there's gonna be a back and forth. All right. So the red Gabo is trying to shoot Orcius. That's eleven. That's not a super strong hit, but it is a hit. Uh, he blasts him and it, like impacts on 
uh, it leaves a, a, a nasty scorch mark on his armor. Um, and then or Orcius is getting real mad at this point. So uh, the Red Gabo is, is basically slipping away. Uh, the Snotlings aren't really helping. Uh, they could be useful if all of them were completely behind the Red Gabo, but they're not going to because an orc is around and they're it's it's bigger. So, all right, uh, what do you uh, chain choppa? I got two for chain choppa. All right, uh, chain choppa. Chain choppa. All right, here we go. Let's go chain choppa. All right. So after after uh, the Red Gabo shoots him, he's like, that's one blow for revolution. That's one blow for the people. That's what. Yeah. As he get as uh, Orcus basically reaches into like the little the little hut that he was hiding in and yanks him out and just like and just like runs his chain like just slices him right in half with the chain chopper and and throws uh uh, th throws uh, th just throws both sides in half. Uh, so and all the snotlings are just kind of sitting there. Um, and uh, what do you what do you want to do? You got a bunch of snotlings in a new spot. Do you just want to leave them there? Do you want to assign a new? We got a couple named snots. New colony? All right, who's who's in charge? New colony is is are we gonna have so new colony? Uh, it's, it is still it is still so is this is this Orcius's town? Or are we picking one of the one of the or is or, or is uh uh, Snotsky going to take charge or Orcius? I think most people are saying Orcius is, is, uh, is in charge. St. Snottisburg. Well, it is currently Snottingrad. Or Snottingrad, as the case may be. Two Snotlings takes the bullhorn and misuses it as a hat. The other likes the flag and wears it as a skirt. Yeah, that's kind of what the Snotlings are doing. They're kind of like picking over the random things. Like one of them has like a uh, Snotsky hat, like takes the hat and puts it on his head. It takes the bullhorn and puts it on his head. And uh, uh, Snotsif uh, or Gratsif Stalin or what the, the Stalin Snotling is going to take the one and, and like wrap the wrap the flag around his waist. Okay. This is this is this is like sort of going to be Orcius's. Like he's kind of in charge, but yeah, I like I like the idea. Like this is good. People have said Orcius, and I like the idea of this village being Orcius's personal gym. So like, it's it's basically a settlement that's built around uh, giving Orcius stuff to fight, giving him giving him things to like mess with while he's waiting to to get into the next big fight. All right, let's move on. Now, the other thing that was done was planning a raid. I guess what we're doing is we're planning a raid on one of the lesser settlements. That was the other donation that got made. So let us, one second, let me go get the other map. I can just leave this here. The map can go over top of it. You can see Snotius's beauteous face. 
Uh, let me see if I can find the other map. Okay, see if we can get all this. Oh, okay, it's a little hard to see. Hold on. All right, so I think you can mostly see it. So this is kind of the way things are set up. Um, you have Snot Tantanople over here. Um, some of the other settlements. Uh, it's Bozantium. That's Big Cave. Kind of the other stuff. Mega Humiopolis is over here. Uh, there is another Humi village over here, which is probably the most isolated one, which you would be able to get to. Um, if you were going, you could go over land. If you were to go by road, you'd have to kind of go down this way or across somehow. Or you can go by river. Um, but this is essentially a, a, uh, a, a village that's similar to Mega Humiopolis. And then some people are saying they want to go to the one west of Mega Humiopolis, which is this one up here. Uh, like hard to see, but it's up here. Let's. I'm, I'm going to do one more thing before we move on. I'm going to. I'm going to roll, and we're going to see how if the revolution lives on. If somebody else will take up the mantle of the Red Gabo. Uh, I think the revolution's living on. It's 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 dealt with for now, but the revolution can't die. The revolution can't die. So the kind of the two options people are talking about is doing the one that's way over here. Which, let me see if I can get this. Uh, is this one over here? Boop. Is that one right there? And then there's also... Um, so, uh, let me see. Mega Humiopolis is... Is right is right here. I've kind of flipped it around, and then the one to the west of that is is um, to the west of Mega Humiopolis is this one right here. They're kind of in opposite directions. You have one to the east. Yeah, one to the east, which is like way over here. It's it's out out of the map view. It's way over here. It's where it's where this this road leads out to it. It goes out there. And then you have, and then the one that's uh, to the west of Mega Humiopolis is following this road. It goes up right here. Because Mega Humiopolis is right here. Is this one? Oop, it's right here. And then the other one's up here. The military base is up north. The military base is like, is like miles up this way. If you went straight up, the military base is, is a while, is a, is a hall. The closest one would be the one off to the east, would be the isolated one off to the east. If you do the, the west one, you're definitely going to draw the attention of uh, Big Town. Okay, we're going to go to the east, um, go to the isolated one. That's what Eric's saying. Someone's saying west, east, 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 east. Yeah, the base is far north. East. I think most people are saying east. So that is the isolated one way out over here. Okay, and sounds like the plan, uh, what you can do, because basically from Mega Humiopolis to Big Cave to Snot Tantanople, all of this that I'm sort of gesturing right over here. That's all connected by roads. And what you can do is go from Snot Tantanople. This is all like grassland. So you can go off road and get to the roads right here. So are we are we scouting first? Because the other thing that could happen is while you guys are preparing for this attack, you guys could be attacked by Big Town.
we don't need scouting. No scout, Gork time. We control the river out. Uh, yeah, we're mostly along the river. You guys are mostly along the river. Mega Humiopolis, uh, Big Cave's a little bit far off from it. It's not like most of the settlements are all along the river. No, well, people are mostly saying no scout, I don't think. No scouting it does sound very orky, but still scouting. Do not send the main main force to its death. Okay, so uh Okay, let's let's we want to do we want to do the Trojan orc we could we could uh, we could have a bunch of boys loaded into a truck and pretend to be a delivery and then attack when they're let in you've missed a, a, quite a bit we had a revolution and everything all right let's do the the Trojan orc all right, who's going? Who is all going? We got two trucks. Now we do we do have a limited amount of Promethean. We essentially have about a month's worth of Promethean before uh, you guys run out, because because the farmers had stuff for the tractors, they had stuff they had stuff for the generators that they had. So basically, they you guys have some truck fuel um, that the the farmers would just need to stock. Um, but that is not going to last forever. They had been relying on shipments from elsewhere. I think you guys are starting to learn to refine snot fire, which is essentially dung, um, and get that into Prometheum. Um, all right, so let's let's. I think we're getting a little. Let's let's go with numbers first. How how many we got we got six orcs. We got six orcs and we have Snodius. And then we have a we have a bunch of Groths. Um how many orcs are we sending? Send them all. Yeah, if you guys take another town, that'll probably also have fuel. Some people some people are saying all of the orcs. Some people are saying three orcs and snottiest. Hundred snots, three orcs, five grots. I think most people are kind of saying half numbers. Okay, I think the all right, I think the most popular are half or all. Let's let's just split it between half and all for the vote. We're going half or all. Uh, let's see. Let's count them all up. One one for all. Two for half. Three for half. Uh, three for all. Four for half. Uh, five for half. Half, I think half is the slightly preferred one. All right, so we got. Let me get the list of guys. I have, don't have this quite set up. I don't have this visually set up, so it's easy for me. Um, all right, so we got. So I think we've said Orc Among Us. People want Orc Among Us to go. Um, as far as other orcs, we have Orcius II, Humius, Noogie Boy, Dr. Crumplestein, and the Big Chef. So we got Orc Among Us is going.
the big chef. We'll send him to the big chef. And uh, Dr. Krumpelstein. We got one for Oswald. No, Snotties is not, is, is, he's his own guy. If Snotties is coming, he's sort of, so I was thinking these are the, of the half of the six orcs, and then Snotties is his own. Snotties himself can come, sure. We'll have Snotties come. He, he would want to be part of it. All right, one last one last guy. Uh, Dr. Krumpelstein. All right. Hmm. What the attacking force does not know is that this settlement has a major disadvantage to it that makes it vulnerable, but also has a major asset that makes it harder to t to take than expected. All right. Um, let me go ahead and put that in. Town has vulnerability. And town has some kind of advantage. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, who do we want to... Do we want to take... Um, what about um, Grotz? I know this is going to take freaking forever. Um, let's – let me do a quick count up. Um, DeFurious is going to come along because he drives truck. Um, let's go with – uh, let's go with twice. Let's go with twice the number of grots than there are orcs. So let's bring six grots along. Uh, the first six names that people mention are going to be the grots that go along too. So, so let's get the the grots going along. The fast is dead. The fast died a long time ago. The furious is one. We got five more. Uh, no, no two. Hold on. You can't say two of them. No, no. Two, you get to say one. Mark is saying, I'm sorry. I got to I got to So we got red shirt five. Um, tree climber. Um, Oswald is an orc, and he is double D. All right. We already have red shirt five coming. Double D is a weird boy also. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, Snotfarious. We don't have a Snotfarious. Snotbow. All right, we'll bring Snotbow. We're, we're, we're using guys that exist. All of the grots are named. <laughs> Uh, Pavel Marzek has to run. I'll see you. Uh, we don't have a red shirt six. One, two, three, four, five. We need one more. Steve? We can bring Steve. Steve works. Those are some good guys. The Furious, Red Shirt, Tree Climber, Double D, Snotbow, and Steve. Sounds like a good crew. And they'll bring along their Snotlings. Some of them have named Snotlings. Some of them don't. And they'll just, they each basically get five that come along with them. Um, to take hits. Um, all right. So now here's the thing about this attack. Um, how much, how long have we been going? I hate to drop, drop this short, but so here's the thing. Um, you guys are, are driving off. To, so what I want to do is uh, I've been given an angle on the town. I need to do a better job of designing it before you guys attack. Um, let's let's let's. I'm going to do some some narration here. 
I'm going to do you – know, there, there, there is a guy named Steve. Steve has been pretty good, though he had his first mess up with uh, infiltrating the military base up north. Uh, weird Fort, I think, is what is what I decided – whatever I called it at the end of the last one. Pavel Marzik, development at Big Cave after our departure. Digged into a tunnel system that goes on forever. splits up a lot. Uh, at least now he can dig deeper. Okay, I'm going to put that as a note. Let me... Big cave gets bigger. Um, and gets bigger. Okay, uncovers more tunnels and gets bigger. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with that. Okay, so let's do some narration. We got... Uh, here, here's I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do as far as how they're getting through. You guys actually grab one of the captured Humies um, to be part of the Trojan Orc ploy, and basically the Humies job is to sit in the driver's seat. Defurious is sitting on that Humies lap and actually driving, and then when uh, the Humie when it's when it comes time for uh, them to get permission to go in. Um, we're uh, then, then, uh, then, uh, basically, uh, DeFurious is going to like duck down under to the floor, like in the footwell where the pedals are, and then the human's going to try to talk his way through. Um, and then, so that's good. We're, we're going to do, let's do, let's do, I think I know where I'm going to, where I want to stop. Because uh, I do have some other stuff I want I need to get done today. I have friends coming over. I need to clean the house. I got um, my my pups need to run around some. I need to eat food. Um, I'm not going to cut us off yet. So we're going to be driving. Uh, Defurious, is, you grabbed like one of the worker guys. I don't think we had names for the human. Um, So uh, the or the everyone's kind of in the in the back of the truck, um, just in the big cab, and you guys are well armed, ready to go, uh, loaded up with shotguns and las guns. Uh, you guys still haven't gotten uh, into DACA production yet. You can build simple firearms, like you can you can basically build like black powder musket sort of things. Um, you guys have a decent amount of squigs. Um, well, we'll say you guys have have a, a squig squad. You got you got you have uh, Pog Chomp and you have his group. Let's say you, you guys have a sizable pack. Um, so what we're gonna do is the oh no oh no is the major asset Nomanicus Germanicus Banana Fanifo Fanicus Me My Momanicus Primus. Maybe, maybe no manicus has has retired to this to this small town. There's a, there's like a gaming tournament, and that's where no manicus has gone. All right, so you guys are uh, are tearing down the road. Um, you follow the road to uh, and this. None of this takes very long. You follow the road to um, Snotantinople. Um, and snot and as you are headed towards Snotantinople, you start cutting across um, just the field. And I'm going to roll to see if there's any problems with you guys going off roading. Okay, um, that's a 14. You guys are fine going off roading. Uh, you've managed to reach the Humi Road. Let's see if there are any any uh, any uh, automobiles that are on the road. Any Humi trucks. Um, no, that's a, that's a crit 20, um, which I'm going to say is good for you guys. This is all faded, but that is a 20. This is my old reliable die. So you guys have clear sailing. Um, you get on the road. Um, I, I imagine like DeFurious like screams onto the road. Like the truck is like fishtailing a little bit as like he settles. Um, and, and, uh, you guys are, are are kind of trucking along your way. Um, and you see a very similar uh, town 
two uh, two mega humiopolis. It looks very very similar. Uh, kind of a circle. There are there are uh, there are towers. There are fields. There's a big fence. Um, there are there are then there's like a town in the center of it. Not it's not obvious. Whatever the advantage or disadvantage they have, it is not obvious as you approach. Um, so we're going to do you guys sneaking in. So you guys pull up are pulling up to the gate. Um, uh, and and uh, we're gonna we're gonna roll to see how well the deception goes, and I'm gonna role play out how how well this goes. Okay, fourteen. Okay, okay. So. So uh, every uh, the basically uh, Defurious gets down into the footwell with the pedals uh, and has like he has a las gun pointed at the Humi as he pulls up to the gate. Uh, so uh, the gate the guard at the gate like kind of comes out and he's like, "Oh hey, how are things going? Uh, we weren't expecting a shipment. Uh, what you got for us?" And uh, and DeFurious is like, tell him we got stupid Yumi stuff. Uh, and he like he, he like looks nervous and says, um, we're we're hauling. Um, we got some uh, farm equipment. We got some parts. Uh, I have to look at the whole uh, manifest, but you know, I'm here to drop it off. It's all been paid in full. Uh, and he's like, all right, come on in. Um. Hydrodom I I don't know what I don't know what to do with Hydrodominatus fellow human. Nothing to see here. All right, we'll we'll just say that that, that they're fooled, that they are that they are fooled. Hmm. Hydrodominatus. That introducing a oh boy. All right, here's what I'm going to do with that. Because I don't think I haven't. I've been trying to figure out. Normally, I don't let people add a crazy uh, hook in here. Um, but let's say at some point, at some point in this role play, Alpha Legion will be involved somehow. Somehow, somehow, they're involved. I haven't done I haven't done an Alpha Legion story yet, and I'm gonna try to figure out how to work it in. And there's plenty of opportunity here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna now uh, we're gonna show the the truck is moving in, and the gates behind close. So as you guys are planning to raid uh, this other Humi town, unbeknownst to you. Heading up the road towards Mega Humiopolis, there is a chimera. A fully loaded chimera is trundling up the road. Fully loaded, and you can, and like the camera, you I mean, this is just for dramatic effect. And there's like cut inside the chimera, and you see like the, uh, the kind of militia looking guys, the PDF from big town with their kind of 19th century style uniforms, but they have like, uh, you know, normal flak armor. Um, and they are headed in the direction of, uh, of mega Humiopolis. So as you guys are making for, so what I'm going to do for next time, I want to do some setup for this. Um, I'm going to have you guys do because I'm, I'm not prepared for the raid on the town. This is a little bit out of the blue, so I got to prepare for that. So what we're going to do is next time we're going to switch back. I'm going to see if we can switch back and forth from the the attack, the tro the Trojan orc attack, and then trying to defend Mega Humiopolis uh, from the Humies uh, rolling up. How's that sound? Because I, I I want that to be good. Because because I'm gonna be real with you guys. You guys came up with a bunch of stuff to do today. All I was planning to do was to have the humans show up, 
in the Chimera. And that was, and you guys were going to have a fight at Mega Humiopolis. But you guys decided to do something else, and that's fine. It's and it's a it's a decision that makes sense to be aggressive, and to try to to basically seize this whole river area, which makes sense. You guys have been using the river for for things, um, and so now we're going to have a, your forces are split. It's a good thing you didn't take all of the orcs because probably they would have they would have wiped everyone out in Mega Humiopolis. However, the orcs are outnumbered. Uh, you do have Grotz up there, but you guys are a little light in what's up there. All right, we're going to uh, – Let's uh, actually, that's not bad. Um, yeah, Zachary Weaver should be a wrench holder because he's a mod in my Discord. Let's – you're a moderator. Um, who, el who else should be a moderator? Lorenzo's been here pretty where's, – where's Lorenzo? Lorenzo can join. He's been here a lot. I I trust. Um, and Ed, Edward Ryland, yes, Edward Rylands absolutely has been here and has been uh, a big time supporter for a long time. He should also be moderator. Uh, so if there's any, we're we're not super strict. It's pretty much ban um, ban bots from spamming the the chat. Uh, and if everyone's been super chill, we haven't had any issues. Um, I guess if people start spamming stuff or if there's, uh, just get it like, you know, inappropriate stuff, swearing, uh, sexual sort of comments, or if people get into shouting matches, we might need some timeouts, but, um, I think that's a pretty good thing. Um, I think we're going to chill here. I think this is a good spot to end. I actually was planning on this to go longer, but I think splitting, between the two the two battles will be exciting for next time all right so thank you guys very much i had an it was a fun stream um we're gonna debrain i know we wanted to check on debrain i would prefer that debrain's reveal happen during the humi attack on mega humiopolis that uh, you guys get a, a tip of my of what my plan was um you guys are going to see what it is when when the fight starts yep thank you guys very much i think it'll be a fun time we didn't quite do what i planned to do today but i think we're set up for something really exciting and fun all right thank you guys very much uh thanks once again to everyone who donated edward rylands in particular um who was the other one pavel marzek donated did Lorenzo also donated? So thank you very much. Pablo Marzak donated more than one, uh, pretty hefty. I think those are the people who donated. So I thank you guys for supporting the stream. Very much appreciated. And we will resume the fun times in the future. But I'm going to call it here and go take care of some of my responsibilities. Also, uh, for those of you who are still around listening to me blather on, you guys are rewarded with Puppy County. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come on, come here, come here. Oh, dude, look at the puppy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. All right, that's going to be it. I'm going to call it here. I will see you guys. Have a good one.